help me welcome our speaker, Colonel Jeff Anderson. So my mom really likes that opening. <laughs> what it really means is if you're in the Army a long time, there's a lot of things you do. Um, so first of all, I say hello to Mayor Wharton, sir. It's nice to see you not downtown, but here. Uh, and then I see one of my other old friends, uh, Colonel Charlie Smith, and his wife, Charlie Smith, welcome. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for braving some beautiful West Tennessee spring weather uh, to come out to this event today. My name is Colonel Jeff Anderson. I am currently serving in the United States Army. My family and I live here in Germantown, and uh, we're really proud to live as close to the veterans' cemetery as we actually do. I would personally like to thank the folks uh, who run this facility for the great job they do. Uh, the place, every time I come by, always looks immaculate, so I'd ask that you give them a round of applause. As we reflect on this 2015 Memorial Day, there are a few pieces of history I think that we need to keep in mind. This is the 70th anniversary year of both VE Day and VJ Day, the ending of World War II in both the European and Pacific theaters. Uh, we've already recognized them once, but I'd ask you to recognize those folks who fought in those two theaters uh, for their service. Gentlemen, welcome. This Memorial Day is also the 50th anniversary of the beginning of the Vietnam War. Uh, so if there's anyone here that is a Vietnam veteran, I'd ask you to please raise your hand and stand. Let the rest of us say to you, welcome home. group that I would like to thank and recognize. Uh, Saturday, uh, I was out here uh, with my son and what seemed like about 1,500 Cub Scouts, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, and parents uh, were out here to place the flags on every grave. Um, if any of those folks are here uh, that were here on Saturday, if you would raise your hands or stand so that we can give you a hand. Uh, really. I know as I look at those young men and women uh, that the future of America is in uh, really good hands. So when I got up this morning, uh, I was bombarded with images as I have been all weekend that say, Happy Memorial Day and Memorial Day celebration. I had to stop and think about that for a bit uh, and what, what that meant. And I started to ask myself, can Memorial Day really be a happy holiday? And is it really a time that we should celebrate, and if so, why? Um, as we heard in the proclamation, Memorial Day started after the Civil War in 1868 to honor the dead from that terrible war. I can only imagine what the country went through as it buried in the vicinity of 650,000 men during and immediately after that war. In a country at the time of only 31 million, that was in the neighborhood of 2 to 3 percent of the total U.S. population. For perspective, 2 to 3 percent of the current U.S. population is between 6 and 9 million people. So what would or could the U.S. have been if those 650,000 men that died during the Civil War instead lived? Think about the impact that was never felt. Children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren that were never born because of that war. I don't think that Memorial Day started as a happy holiday, and I'm fairly certain there wasn't a lot of celebrating. My guess is that it started as a very somber holiday where brothers, sisters, mothers, fathers, and widows reflected on what could have been and what never will be because of that relatively short but incredibly brutal war. As our country continued on its inevitable path to world superpower, we added to the roles of names that we honor on Memorial Day. 116,000 in World War I, over 400,000 in World War II, 36,000 in Korea, 58,000 in Vietnam, and approximately 6,800 and counting 
in Iraq and Afghanistan. The question remains the same. What could have been if that over a million people would have lived normal lives? How different would the U.S. be right now? That is the sad and, and somber question that can't ever be answered. And that question really keeps us from celebrating Memorial Day. We remember Memorial Day, and we respect Memorial Day, but it's hard to celebrate when thinking about what might have been. But maybe we can change our thinking just a little bit. Let's think for a moment about what the world might look like if we didn't have a Memorial Day. Meaning, if we as a country did not ever go to war, what would this world look like? What would the U.S. look like if we never fought the Civil War? What would Europe and Japan look like if the U.S. never fought World War I and World War II? What about Korea, Vietnam, and the current wars in Iraq and Afghanistan? I don't know what the world would look like exactly. But I guarantee it wouldn't look anything like it does today. And given the choice between whether the world would be a better place or a worse place, my money is heavily on it. It would be a much, much worse place. So maybe as we somberly think about what might have been this Memorial Day, we also take a minute and celebrate what actually is. This country and this world are what they are today because of the sacrifice of those million people and their families. Their war shortened lives and the lives that never happened because of the wars that we have fought as a country ensure that today we live safely in a free country that continues to affect the world positively. So yes, I think there is room for some happiness on Memorial Day. Tempered happiness as we somberly honor our country's war dead, but happiness knowing that their deaths weren't in vain that their deaths allowed the rest of us to live freely and that the United States and the world are much better places because of their ultimate sacrifice. So we stand on their shoulders of giants who served and sacrificed really for us. So in closing, I would ask that you enjoy your Memorial Day, but you say a prayer thanking those who sacrificed so much so that we could live in freedom and celebrate this amazing country. May God bless you and may God bless America. Thank you.